morning students welcome back to our subject science and chapter 11 human body and organ system points to be covered can you recall external respiration inspiration inhalation expiration exhalation internal respiration cellular respiration can you recall we'll see few questions here from what are the organs and organ systems made up of so here you can see the pictures of the tissues so organs are made from tissues organ systems are made up of organs which are performing similar type of functions the second question in can you recall is which organ systems are present in human body so with the help of picture we'll see the brain is present you can see heart is present stomach is present intestine is present lungs are present liver is present and kidney is present so these are the important systems here digestive system excretory system reproductive system circulatory system nervous system skeleton system muscular systems are some of the important organ systems present in human body the next question of can you recall which different organ performs the function of breathing in the body of animals so here you can see in the picture the different uh, animals you can see here that is frog bird and humans you can see here in the case of mammal nose pharynx larynx trachea bronchioles lungs alveoli are the organs that carries out the function of breathing diaphragm and muscles connecting ribs to take important part in breathing movement such organs are present in mammals in case of aquatic animals there are gills for taking dissolved oxygen from water birds and reptiles also breathe by lungs in birds lungs are connected to the air sac amphibians can breathe through lungs when on land as well as skin when in water different types of non corded breathe by different respiratory organs such as parietal trachea book lung etc energy is essential to operate all the life process in human body energy production occurs within the cell the cells need the supply of soluble nutrients and oxygen for this purpose this supply takes place with the help of respiratory and circulatory system respiration is carried out through following three steps external respiration with a figure we'll see inhalation here here the person is taking Uh, oxygen through nose and in exhalation he is giving out the carbon dioxide here inhalation air is taken through nose and sent towards the lung through trachea that is windpipe expiration or exhalation oxygen from the inspired air goes into the blood blood carries the carbon dioxide from various parts of the body towards the lung this air is given out by exhalation Both of these process occurring with the help of lungs are collectively called as external respiration. Internal respiration, exchange of gases between the cells and the tissue fluid is called as internal respiration. Oxygen moves from the blood into tissue fluid and carbon dioxide move from tissue fluid into blood. Cellular respiration dissolved nutrients like glucose are slowly burned oxidized with the help of oxygen energy is released in the form of ATP waste material like carbon dioxide and water vapors are produced during this process cellular respiration can be summarized as follows that is C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives 6 carbon dioxide 6 water molecules plus energy and 38 atp today we have learned about the external respiration that is inhale that air is taken through nose and sent towards the lung through trachea then exhale oxygen from the uh, inspired air goes into the blood and blood carries carbon dioxide from various parts of the body towards the lung and the air is given out by the exhalation process now this process is called as the external respiration then we have seen internal respiration exchange of gases between the cells and tissue fluid is called as internal respiration cellular respiration dissolved nutrients like glucose are slowly burned oxidized with the help of oxygen and energy is released in the form of atp waste material like carbon dioxide and water vapors are produced during this process